over the last couple of years, back in 2022, I did 300 plus episodes. It's a lot. Mm. This year, Ooh. probably about half that. Next year, 2024, I want to kind of cap out at about maybe 100, maybe 75. But in that cap, I want to do more sort of like serialized, really hyper-focused and curated stuff. I'll give you an example. In this most recent season, the season that wrapped, season eight, the month your interview was in, I put your interview out, I was being very intentional. Your interview dropped. I had Kokai on there that same week. Mm. And then that was in the middle of sort of this jazz month of interviews. So I was like, there's some jazziness here. So I'm going to just fit this here. And in that jazz month, it took me almost three years to get to that period of being able to get one, the number of musicians and jazz champions, folks in the industry, and bringing them all together for a really concentrated, hyper curated month of interviews. And I'm just so proud of that month because this is what I want this to be really curated in this way of like, come on this journey with me. That's what it is. The podcast is an invitation and that's I'm leaning more into that. So going into 2024, I got some names that are popping up. Some comedians are going to be sort of the first month. Right now, I've kind of gone through the first quarter of the year and I got a piece of advice about, I want to see a little bit more of you in it. So it's kind of like, what does Rob like is kind of the thinking. So I like comedy. So the first <laughs> month is going to be stand-up comedians, folks that are in that space. That second month, I'm wavering a little bit, but I think I've focused keenly on just like black figures in the radio space, folks in content. I got folks that like, I got Max Myrick coming on who from DC radio, he's a legend in the industry. And March, we'll see what's coming there for March. I might be working with a big convention around that time. So they might take up my entire March. We'll see what happens. <laughs> it's about really connecting and looking at like, all right, one, does this still interest me? That's the first person I'm trying to satisfy because I can't tell what everyone thinks. Everyone else is a little fickle, but I'm interested in it as they say, or as I say, you can't fake enthusiasm. And one of the other things that I want to do, like last year, well, this season, I was doing this Fridays for Philly. So I would do interviews in Philadelphia and put those out on every Friday. I'm going to do more stuff with that. I'm going to do more stuff in DC because uh, DC radio and they love you boy. And on the other side, I'm looking at two other cities, quote unquote, black cities. Like this 2023, I went to New Orleans twice and did some interviews down there because that Baltimore New Orleans connection is real. And so that was the sort of same thinking with why I wanted to Philly as well. So I want to bring in a couple more cities to really spread what I'm doing into these other markets because I see some kinship and similarity between Baltimore and, and these cities. So one of the other cities that's been earmarked has been uh, Detroit. And then I'm looking at Atlanta, but I think Detroit is definite. Atlanta is possible. Atlanta is big. Atlanta is kind of big, it's black, but uh, Detroit <laughs> is definitely similar. So I want to do that. Kind of spreading it, having very intentional and hyper-focused curation and probably one to one and a half interviews per week. That's, that's what we're looking at for 2024.